Hey, hey, hello guys. Welcome to another Ask Me Anything session. This is the part of Sound School where you ask questions, we try to give answers. I'm joined with Alexia. Hello. Alexia, how are you? Fine, and you? I'm doing great. Yay. Thank you. So what question do we have today? We have a question from Kleber. Hi, Kleber. Hey, Kleber. <laughs> and he is asking... Okay, when I hear something in English, I try not to translate anymore in my brain, but I try to follow the words and repeat. For example, if I hear the English in Ecuador Radio and you and Alexia are talking about something and I try to follow you and repeat the words that you just said, is it good or not? Because sometimes I repeat, 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 and I don't get the meaning of the words. Okay. Wow, this is... So, he is... How's the name? Ele tá desabafando. Yeah, he's ranting yes. a little bit. <laughs> yeah, so this is a really good question. There are several different parts. So, on one hand, he is talking about... He's trying not to translate directly from Portuguese. Yes. Which is a really good thing. You don't want to translate, but it's also a really difficult thing. We'll yeah. talk more about that in a second. And then the second part of this... He is saying that he's trying not to pay attention to the translation too much. So, for example, if he's listening to English no Haju, he's just listening and repeating, but he feels like he's not actually learning the meaning of new words. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. Where should we start? I think with direct translation. <laughs> so, Kleber, the truth is... That it will take a long, long time for you to completely stop translating from Portuguese. This will happen gradually, incrementally with time. So in the beginning, at least in my experience and many, many of our students' experiences, you will start automatically saying things in English, but simple things that you are saying a lot, right? Right. So, for example, even if you are a very basic student, if someone says, hey, how are you? You can say, I'm good. How are you? You are not thinking in your head, ah, it was still paying. You will say, hey, how are you? You know, with those simple things, you can really start to not directly translate pretty quickly. But with much more complicated, sophisticated issues, this still happens with me in Portuguese. If I'm really kind of getting stuck and I've never talked about something before, I still find myself thinking in English and translating. Obviously, this happens a lot less than it used to, but it's still a process. It's a process. I feel that for me nowadays, I don't translate that much anymore. Right now, when I'm speaking here, I'm not translating anything. It's already automatic. But it's the same thing. If I need to go to the doctor and the doctor is saying a lot of different things for me and I don't know the meaning, I don't I don't understand the vocabulary, I will start translating and trying to understand in Portuguese and then I can understand in English and learn something from it. But Yeah, I think in your experience, the times where I see you directly translating from Portuguese the most is just for specific words. And I think that has to do with the dynamic of our relationship When you're thinking of a really difficult word, you can just say, ah, how do you say this? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I think there's a little bit of that going on. But short answer is it's a really good thing to try to focus on not translating, but it also takes a lot of time. So it's not like today you're translating directly, tomorrow you're not. It's something that takes months, years. So, like... Be patient. <laughs> it will happen, but be patient. Yes, and it will probably happen faster than you are noticing, and it will happen a lot without you even noticing. Yeah. So one day you will wake up and recognize, okay, 90% of the time I'm just speaking English. I'm not even thinking about Portuguese. Cool. So the second part of the question, he said, for example, when he's listening to English no Cruhaju, He's just repeating with us, but he does not feel like he's really learning new things, right? Yeah. So, I think that's awesome. I think that's so good, and you're receiving so many benefits just from repeating 
that you probably cannot perceive all of these benefits. But number one, you're training just normal pronunciation, like the fundamentals of sounds. Number two, you are training the more sophisticated aspects of pronunciation, like intonation, stress, filler words, all of these little nu nuances we have. You are repeating those and getting more comfortable with them, getting more exposure. That's super, super helpful. And then finally, I think this might not happen in the moment, but you are also acquiring new vocabulary and expressions even if it's subconscious. But the next time you hear that expression, your brain might think, hmm, I've heard that before, okay, and then you have it. So I know it can seem frustrating. It seems like you're not making progress. But I promise listening and repeating is always a good thing to do. That's a great way to spend your time. Yeah, because it, you feel more confident to put these words with the correct pronunciation in your day during when you're talking when you're speaking English. So yeah, I think that the bottom line here line here is get used to it and don't worry because this day will come and be patient and repeat as much as you can because you will put these words in your vocabulary without noticing it as well. Yeah, for me the bottom line, the most important thing is trust in the process not don't focus on the results because language learning, learning a new language is not a linear progression. It's not like, okay, today I can have basic conversations and one month I can have intermediate. It does not move in a straight line, but sometimes for months you are stagnant. You feel like you are stuck and not learning things. And then all of a sudden your language skills are at a totally different level. So Don't think about, okay, am I immediately getting better? Because it does not work like that. But what you are doing right now, listening and repeating and working on thinking more in English and expressing yourself without translating, those are good things. So trust in the process. Yeah, so take me as an ex example. For example, this year, it was the, the year that I felt more stuck with my English because I got to a level that I am advanced, I could say that I am fluent, mm -hmm. but I wasn't getting better at anything that I was supposed to. And I, I was feeling very, very down with that. And this time when I, I got here in the United States in October, it was the time that everyone was saying, oh my God, your accent is so good. Yeah. Are you from Brazil? No, you're not. So it made me understand that even though I wasn't noticing my my progress, my progress, my improvement, I was improving. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I just... call these language learning plateaus. You know what a plateau is? It's like the top of a mountain where it's flat. Okay. So you're going up a mountain, and then it's flat, and you feel like you're not making progress for a long time, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere. You're going back up again really high, and then it kind of stops. Yeah, it's not a linear process, but trust in the process. Yeah. Excellent question. Thank you very much. So we will be back with more questions very soon. Yes. Thank you, Kleber. Bye. Thanks. Bye-bye.